What's good, y'all? So at exercise number 10, we have lateral squats in there. So we're used to moving in a straight line, moving forward and back. Moving left to right is done, but it's not done as common as it should be. This is a great exercise to incorporate into routine just to balance out your mobility and help you just round out your routine, all right? At number nine, we have Spider-Man lunges. Spider-Man lunges are done in a push-up position. It helps you open up your hip girdle. It helps improve the quality of your hip movements and hips are where we generate a lot of our power from. So this is definitely a movement you want to incorporate into your routine. Don't skip out on this. Try it out during your next workout. At number eight, we have a reverse lunge into a step up. So this is going to help you just overall improve your stability and balance because it does incorporate a couple different movements together into one. So just getting this down and getting comfortable with this is gonna take some time. But once you get it, you're gonna improve your balance overall. For exercise number seven, we have band pull-aparts. So for the pull-aparts, you're gonna bring your elbows right into your ribs there and pull it apart. You can do this without anything in your hands, but I like to do it with like a resistance band and just pull it apart, come right back, pull it apart nice and slow and then come back. This is gonna improve your shoulder mobility. It's gonna improve your shoulder strength. It's gonna also improve your rotator cuff health. So try it out and let me know like how it feels. And yeah, it's a good one to incorporate into your routine. At number six, this is also, it's a similar movement in a different like position. So you're gonna bring your hands up, thumbs like facing back, and you're gonna rotate back. You can also do it like rotating down. So how you do it like really depends on where you have the anchor set up. So doing this is gonna improve your upper back mobility. It's gonna really open up the muscles in the upper back, the traps. It also is gonna improve your shoulder health. It's just a variation of what we just did before, but it's a good variation. Try it out, it is a little more advanced but it's a good one. All right, so we're about to go into the top five exercises. These exercises, I do have a few exercises that are focused on the posterior chain. So the posterior chain is the group of muscles that helps us kind of move backwards, like helps us like generate backwards force. So it's the muscles that helps like stabilize the spine, like some of the glute muscles are in there. So these group of muscles are really important and you definitely shouldn't skip them. So definitely incorporate them into your routine. I'll give you a heads up on which ones are which, all right? So for exercise number five, we have a kneeling thoracic rotation. You're gonna lift your knees off the floor and drive the arm through. And as you're pulling back, you're gonna look across this is gonna open up your upper back. So this is a thoracic focus or mid back focus exercise. So definitely try this out and see how it kind of like tweaks your back. Hopefully it doesn't tweak, it just helps like improve your back mobility and stability. So definitely incorporate that into routine. At number four, we have the Cossack squat. So this is a more advanced movement. You're gonna go into a lateral squat. Instead of going right back up, you're gonna just switch and kind of like reposition your weight. You're gonna stay down low and just shift to the other side. It's definitely one to try, but it does stretch out the hip muscles a little bit more because you're kind of staying down low and you're not really giving it a chance to kind of breathe as you're going up. You're kind of leaving the muscles like tense and you're kind of switching positions while it's still kind of stretched. So keep that in mind. At exercise number three, we're just gonna do a deadlift with no bar. You're just gonna go down and you're gonna reach down and touch your ankles instead of deadlifting. So I just call this deadlift ankle touch. So you're basically gonna just go down into a deadlift and then touch your ankles instead. This is great and it's a simple exercise and it does challenge you a little bit more than you think, especially when you start doing like 10 to 15 rep sets there. This is meant to just warm up and give you, you know, extra mobility. It's not really meant to be used as a strength building exercise or condition exercise. It's more so meant to just open up your lower body. So keep that in mind. It's not gonna be hard, but it does stretch the muscle out, all right? At number two, I have the Superman, but I'm gonna throw a little twist in there. We're gonna do it with a band. So as you're going up, you're gonna hold a resistance band and you're gonna pull apart the resistance band all the way up into the motion, hold just like you would a normal Superman and then come down. So this just adds a little extra oomph to it and it kind of forces your upper back and your neck and your cervical spine to work harder. And this is really gonna open up your upper back a little bit more. So that's why I made the small change and it is a posterior chain focus exercise. So it's gonna work your posterior chain a little bit more than usual. And for number one, this is one of my favorite exercises. I call this the swimmers. So it's a Superman with a swim. You're gonna swim, like do a breaststroke and then come right back. You're gonna hold this the whole time, you're gonna hold that superman position the whole time, it's telling those muscles that like, hey, you need to turn on and start working right now. So holding it and swimming all the way through is gonna be a little more challenging than just a regular superman. So that's why I like this and I really like it at number one because once you unlock the posterior chain, a lot of the other movements are gonna become a little easier. Look, I know mobility exercises aren't the coolest thing to do in the gym, 
most people would prefer to do curls or abs because that's what people see and that's what's going to get you attention per se so it's not like you know something that's really common mobility exercises are often skipped but you shouldn't skip it because once you have like a new level of mobility once you improve that everything else becomes easier and you're able to get more out of your workouts bad mobility leads to bad form which leads to you getting hurt not only you getting hurt but you're going to have less gains in the gym so it's going to be harder to do certain movements and you're just not going to see the benefit that you would get if you had the mobility that you needed to to kind of push your limits even more so that's all i got for today man hope you enjoyed the video definitely hit that like button i'll see you guys on the next one